Good morning. First Peter 1, 7, and we're going to go into verse 8, so that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. When your faith is purged, it reforms your character. But when your faith is purged, it also brings praise to God. Now, watch what happens in verse 8. See, your, your life gets changed, so now, through difficulty, you're a better worshiper. Though you have not seen Him, you love Him. When God works in your life to, 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 to mold and shape you, what happens is you begin to see Him more clearly, and your affection for Him grows. Is that, is that paradoxical? It shouldn't be. Because the fact that God cares enough to work on my life should remind me that He is a Father who loves me and who treasures me in that way and who cares for me. And in that way, I lean into Him more. And I begin to see Him more clearly, even though I don't see Him. Though you have not seen Him, you love Him. Though you do not now see Him, you believe in Him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory. Love emerges for God. Greater belief in God emerges and greater joy as a result of purging. I know that may sound odd to you. Don't let it be odd. This is why you stay on the anvil as God works in your life, as God cultivates uh, more love for Him more belief for him, and more joy in your life. He doesn't do it by putting you on easy street. He does it by forming, cultivating, hammering away on your character. So don't run away from it. Lean into it. Because out of it, you'll praise him more, and you'll be formed more. May the Lord bless you today.